Beware of illegal video cassettes. Check whether this video cassette carries a genuine label hologram. Video piracy is a crime. Do not accept it. Demand a genuine cassette from your video store. Poor quality illegal video cassettes reduce your viewing pleasure and jeopardize future film production. When in doubt, telephone the Federation against copyright theft. Fact on 0181 568 6646. Or in the case of the Republic of Ireland, 01 6777 071. started so you want me to tell you the story of my life I'll tell you my story I'll tell you all of it I'm flesh and blood but not human I haven't been human for 200 years from the novel by Anne Rice from Neil Jordan the director of the crying game I've come to answer your prayers. Life has no meaning anymore, does it? His name is Lestat. But what if I could give it back to you? Pluck out the pain and give you another life. One you could never imagine. I can see you lying on a bit of satin. <laughs> he chose one man. He gave him infinite power. Eternal life and a daughter who would be forever young. This is the only real evil left. And then he took the light of day. You're a vampire who never knew what life was until it ran out in a red gush over your lips. Can't stand this any longer. You made us what we are, didn't you? If God kills indiscriminately, then so shall we. Do you like dying? You condemn me to hell! Monster. One happy family. Take her, Louise. End her suffering and yours. For do not doubt, you are a killer! Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, Stephen Ray, Antonio Banderas, Kirsten Dunst, and Christian Slater. Interview with the Vampire. Brutal murder. I don't know this girl, Johnny Shriner. I don't know. A forced confession. Oh. I refuse to believe in any government which is willing to trade torture for torture. Death for death. A renowned professor of law. They're gonna kill my boy. It's 25 years since I practiced he law. He said, find Mr. Paul Armstrong and give him this. Driven by conscience to take the case. I knew Robert Earl was bad news first time I had laid eyes on him. I don't hear any evidence. Well, we didn't need any. We had a confession. The guy's on death row. I want you to help him get his life back. The old girl said you don't come to my said no. Please. Now, if I really talked with that kind of verbal buck and shuffle, I'd be a free man today. What's your game? Did you kill Johnny Shriver? I didn't do it. I know who did. Just read the signs. What signs? Seek, and ye shall find. Buried deep in the Florida Everglades is a secret that can save an innocent man. You got them all fooled, don't you? Even that know-nothing Harvard fool. Huh? Or free a killer. Rejoice, for a great injustice is about to be undone. To kill again. Daddy? Laurie. Now, every step he takes puts his family closer to danger. Laurie! And brings him... Scream! 
<laughs> Closer to the truth. See, I push the buttons to make you do the dance. Did you kill her? Way to make a living, Doc. Well, you should have married a dentist. I think I've got a way out of this place. There's this guy that works out of Phoenix. His name's Jack Benyon. And he's planning something very big. You contact him. Tell him I'm for sale. Just get me the hell out of here. Can you do that for me? Mr. Binion, I came here to talk about my husband. Let's just look at the situation. One, the wife is very attractive. She is a stunningly healthy young woman. I trusted you. Yeah, and I came through for you, oh, too. Yeah, repeatedly. Two, the woman's husband, a thief serving a long sentence in a Mexican hellhole. You are supposed to make a deal with him. The deal wasn't good enough. Then you should have walked away. Three, a businessman. Lots of power and influence. A fellow who can easily get the husband a pardon. Why should he? One simple reason. Money. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you, Doc? You'd humiliate yourself for me, wouldn't you? Just put down the bag, dog. We just want money. Look, if one of us doesn't show, we're not going to pester each other, okay? If you're not there, I'll understand. I'll be there. And if you're not, I'll understand. I'll be there. You want time to think it over? Do you want time to think it over? Absolutely not. Rams hottest quarterback back when polyester was in and we were doing the hustle. You know that I've never been faithful to anyone in my whole life. I'm shocked and amazed. <laughs> you don't play around, do you? No, but I think I might have to if I were involved with someone like you. Ah. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> To simplify my life is that so hard to understand well i understand it when it comes to my life but this is your life you have a great life i love your life i hope you don't feel awkward about being here with michael when he's engaged i'm engaged myself What's he, 30 35 he's young <laughs> You don't want to mess up your life any more than I want to mess up mine. You do that long enough and you forget? What do you forget? What it's like to love something. Now, 
I know that some of us have doubts about what we're about to do. We'd be less than human if we didn't. But the fate of the nation, perhaps the world, is in our hands. We cannot, we dare not refuse this burden. I'm confident that each of you will do his duty. God forgive us. Your town is being quarantined. We got 19 dead. You got 100 more infected. It's spreading like a brush fire. What are you talking about? If one of them's got it, then 10 of them have got it now. And if one of them gets out of Cedar Creek, we have a very interesting problem. If that bug gets out of there, 260 million Americans will be dead or dying. I'm leaving with the team in an hour. From the heart of a small California town. Damn it, Sam. I want to save these people same as you. To the inner circle of power in Washington. The most optimistic projection for the spread of the virus is this. 24 hours... 36 hours, 48 hours. The greatest medical crisis of all time. We can't stop it. Begins. Try to remain calm. Many people are dying and are going to continue to die unless we find this monkey. There will be panic the likes of which we have never seen. There you are. Attention, Portland, Portland residents, Seattle citizens of San Diego. Residents of attention, Denver residents. One more kiss, dear, one more sigh, only this, dear, is goodbye. Mm, teeth feel smooth, dental clean when brushed with new Colgate Bicarbonate of Soda. One more kiss. New Colgate Bicarbonate of Soda makes Goodbye. teeth feel... technology. The hour is late and the office is empty. Why don't you come up around seven and we'll have a drink and catch up on a little business? I don't know anything about this woman. I do. I had a thing with her. It was years ago. You've been summoned by your new boss to a confidential late night meeting. You kept in good shape, Tom. It's different now. All right. You're my boss. It's very different. Your nerves are on edge. A drink is on the table. Wait, wait a second. And your future is on the line. Now, is that so bad? But before you can catch your breath, an unwanted sexual advance... Nobody has to know. Nobody gets hurt. ...has put you in the most compromising of positions. Don't worry. I'm not gonna bite. You can't just stop. Now. This never happened, all right? It's going to be his word. You get back here and finish what you started. Against hers. Get back here and you finish what you started or you're dead. Do you hear me? You are dead! Disclosure. forget the day Frankenstein turned up on my doorstep and Robbie said it was an anniversary present because we'd known each other for 27 days. <laughs> there hadn't been any nights. And we watched the sun going down with a Diet Coke. He said, now we're a family, we should get married. <laughs> The Passion Springs Motel had one room left with one double bed and one single.
to take a sandwich with you, sir. I'll get drive through. Bruce Wayne. In the flesh. I'm gonna need that hand back. Yes. My invention beams any TV signal directly into the human brain. Mind manipulation, tampering with people's brain waves, it just raises too many questions. I'll send you a riddle. The Riddler. I will help you solve the greatest riddle of all. Who is Batman? Lock. Alfred. I saw the signal, sir. I've left Wayne Enterprises en route to the Bat Cave. All is ready, sir. Let's start this party with a bat! I sent the signal. You called me here for this? The bat signal is not a beeper. We could give it a try. I'll bring the wine. Or do I need skin tight vinyl and a whip? Like the jacket? It keeps me safe when I'm jogging at night. I need a name. Bat Boy, Nightwing. What's a good sidekick name? Help me. All right, train me. Let me be your partner. Blast him! <laughs> I want to be close, but you won't let me near. I'm a part of this, whether you like it or not. When you rent or buy a video, you need to know that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you understand what the film is like, you can look at the certificate it has been given. This film has been classified as 18. That means this film is only suitable for people aged 18 or over. A film with an 18 certificate will almost certainly have an adult theme, and might well contain scenes of sex or violence which are quite graphic. It may also contain explicit language, including sexual swear words. It is an offence to supply a video classified 18 to anyone below that age. 
Video certificates are there to give you the chance to make the right choice. Thanks for listening. I gotta tell you something, Wyatt. I told your brothers when they went off to fight, and I suppose the time's come for you. You know, I'm a man that believes in the law. After your family, it's about the only thing you got to believe in. But there are plenty of men who don't care about the law. Men who will take part in all kinds of viciousness. Don't care who gets hurt. When you find yourself in a fight with such viciousness, hit first if you can. And when you do hit, hit to kill. Boom. The closer you keep your family, the better. Nothing counts so much as blood. The rest are just strangers. In a lawless land, there was a fearless man who became a timeless legend. Wyatt Earp. You're coming up with zeros. Looks like our boys are mystery, man. There's no mystery. His name's Ryan Garrity. According to the report, the guy can build bombs out of biscuit. I've come here to create a new country for you called chaos and a new government called anarchy. 